Hello everyone, I'm Maria. And my name is Rory, and we are the hosts of the IELTS Speaking for Success podcast, the podcast that aims to help you develop your speaking skills as well as your listening skills along the way. We started this podcast to give you a look at how a native English speaker would answer some of the most common IELTS speaking questions. I ask Rory questions, and he gives answers in using vocabulary and grammar for a high score. Band 9 score, always. Rory, do you think the answers to the questions today will be difficult? No, it's going to be a piece of cake. What are we going to be talking about today? Cake? Cake! Yay! <clears throat> oh my god, I'm sorry. Try not to die, that would be very inconvenient for me. <laughs> that would be very convenient, yes. Rory, do you like cakes? Um, yes. Um, actually, I like them perhaps a bit too much. Um, I really need to improve my diet, to be honest with you. So you do have a sweet tooth? Oh, for sure. I think everybody does. Have you ever baked a cake? Um, yes. Once with my mum. Not since. Um, I'm as terrible a cook as I am a baker, as it happens. How often do you eat cakes? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I suppose whenever they are present, um, I, I try not to buy them because um, I suppose I have a bit of self-control, uh, sorry, a bit of a self-control issue when it comes to cakes and sweet things. But whenever they're at a party or something like that, then I'll definitely be eating the cake. I'll be hovering around. Do you like having desserts? Um, I think I like it. I don't think I like it as much as I did when I was younger, actually. Um, I suppose just because I've been able to develop some self-control. I think when you're younger, you find it more difficult to control your urges to eat things. Um, but if I do eat them now, then I have them at the end of a meal. I, I feel like that's the logical course of, well, courses. Are cakes popular in your country? Well, I think if you look at the size of some of the people who live there, um, you could definitely say they're popular. Um, people definitely need to, or some people need to exercise some self-control in that respect. But, um, seriously, I don't think they're any popular or any less popular or more popular than anywhere else. Um, I think the same proportion of people like them. What desserts are popular in your country? Um, it's a good question, really. I think uh, nothing that isn't popular elsewhere. Um, so people have um, like just the normal sponge cakes, um, they'll have ice cream. Uh, I suppose... Um, one thing that might be particularly popular is sticky toffee pudding. That's something that seems to be quite a popular dish at weddings or parties when people um, have large gatherings. Um, but other than that, I'm think, I think that everything else is pretty normal, to be honest. Rory, thank you very much for your sweet answers. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm cracking the jokes now. Right, um, shall we go over the vocabulary? Yes. All right, so when we talk about cakes uh, and desserts, um, now, dear listeners, we say desserts. Mm -hmm. Why is it an issue? Because if you say desert, then you mean the place. The Sahara Desert. So mm -hmm. make sure that you say, like, I love desserts. Mm -hmm. Desserts. They're much tastier than desserts. And um, Rory has used a nice, uh, what well, kind of idiom, a piece of cake. Yes, right? a piece of so, cake. Mm, uh, it's a piece of cake, it's a piece of cake. It means difficult or super easy. Oh, it means something is super easy, it's great. Yeah, it's a piece of cake. Or like, mm, was this test difficult? No, it's a piece of cake. Or it was a piece of cake. Right. Um, the question was, have you ever baked a cake? So mm -hmm. we can bake a cake or we can make a cake. Yes. Right? And you said that uh, I'm, I'm a terrible cook. Yeah, well, I made a comparison. I said I'm as terrible a cook as I am a baker. So that just means that I'm, I'm a terrible cook and I'm a terrible baker. Um, yeah, we say a baker uh, because a person who bakes cakes, who makes cakes. Can we say a cooker? Uh, no, you can't because a cooker is not a person. A cooker is a thing that you cook with. Uh, in some parts of the country, it's called... Oh, sorry, in some parts of my country, it's called a cooker and in other parts, it's called an oven. Either way, it's the thing, not the person. Yeah, a no, piece of furniture. So um, the person who cooks is a cook or a chef. You've been talking about self-control issue, right? Mm -hmm. 
and some people should exercise their self-control? Yeah. So um, I guess if we talk about self-control, some people would say like, um, I should control myself, but self-control is actually more flexible vocabulary. And then you can use self-control, but if you want a higher score, it's got to be exercise self-control. The meaning is the same, but it's the collocation to exercise self-control. You also mentioned um, control your urges. Yes. So people's urges. Uh, what's the meaning of urges? Urges um, are really strong feelings when you want to do something. Um, and it's not usually something that lasts for a long time. It's usually a short time. And so it's a very short, intense time when you really want something. Like uh, when I'm hungry, I always have an urge to eat fish. I'm a big fan of seafood have an urge to eat fish, mm -hmm. right? Or we should control our urges. Yeah, I'm a smoker, for example, so I should control my urges to smoke and be a healthier person. Right, that's true. When I asked you how often uh, you have cakes, you said that I'll be hovering around. Hovering like a helicopter? Basically, yeah. So it's like if there's a small part of the room where something is and you are either standing there not doing much or you're just moving around, um, not really leaving that area, then you're hovering. Can we just imagine that in the room there are some cakes and Rory is hovering around them or just hovering, exactly. right? Like um, a Rory helicopter. It is exactly like that. People should be careful when I'm near cake. And it's interesting that um, we can use cake without any articles, right? So, like, I want cake. It's not just I want a cake, a slice of cake, but it's just like, oh, cake is important. Cake uh, gives you endorphins. Mm -hmm. Cake uh, makes you happy. It does. So that's why we should have as much of it as possible, in my opinion. Well, control your urges, Rory. I will try. Exercise your self-control, right? Um, Rory told us that um, he prefers desserts at the end of the meal, right? At the end of the meal, yes. we say. Uh, usually uh, people say in the end, but yeah. at, usually at the end of something. Yes, make sure that you don't make that mistake with your prepositions, otherwise that's going to get you in trouble. So always at the end of a meal, um, but in the end of a story. Yes, in the, uh, in the beginning. Yeah. Yes, and in the, in the middle. In the middle, <laughs> right. When uh, you talk about cakes, you can mention specific words uh, for cakes. For example, Rory uh, has told us about sponge cakes, right? Like SpongeBob. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sponge cakes. They're kind of similar. Um, a sponge cake is just a normal cake, to be honest with you. Um, you'll know it if you press down on it and it goes down, but then when you take your hand off, it comes back up. As long as you wash your hands before you yeah, do that. Yeah, wash your hands. Absolutely. Wash your hands, people. Yes, yeah, several times a day. Okay. Sponge cakes, uh, then we can have cupcakes, we can have cheesecakes, pudding. Yes. Right? Pudding is an essential part of um, English cuisine. Um, so I'm told. <laughs> pudding. Um, so make sure that you know the name of, the, of your favorite cake. Also, we discussed um, having a sweet tooth. Yeah. Right, so I have a sweet tooth. Rory, do you have sweet teeth? Oh, absolutely. I, I, have, oh, I have a sweet mouth. Sweet. <laughs> um, but it, on the subject of uh, talking about specific um, cakes and desserts and knowing your favorites, so you need to remember to talk about things like sponge cake, or um, in my case, it's sticky toffee pudding, or in other people's cases, it could be meringues. But make sure you know the specific vocabulary. Don't just say, I like cake. Cake is great. Cake is amazing. If you keep saying cake, people are going to get very bored very quickly. Yeah, so cupcakes, puddings, uh, meringue, ice cream, uh, gelato, right? Um, but to make sure that you have cake in moderation. Yes, or try to. Yeah, try to. Again, um, cake is a great thing. It gives us energy. What else? It makes us happy. Yes, it makes us happy. Just a happy food. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, we can have a slice of cake or the whole cake. Have you ever actually eaten the whole cake? Yes. But Just to yourself. Yeah, I shouldn't share that widely, but I have sat and eaten the whole cake by myself. <laughs> How did you feel? Great. Oh, yes. A bliss. What a bliss. Dear listeners, thank you very much for listening. Now you can listen to Rory's answers again, and this time notice all the grammar and vocabulary he's just used. 
Rory, do you like cakes? Um, yes, um, actually, I like them perhaps a bit too much. Um, I really need to improve my diet, to be honest with you. So you do have a sweet tooth? Oh, for sure. I think everybody does. Have you ever baked a cake? Um, yes, once with my mum. Not since. Um, I'm as terrible a cook as I am a baker, as it happens. How often do you eat cakes? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I suppose whenever they are present. Um, I, I try not to buy them because um, I suppose I have a bit of self-control, uh, sorry, a bit of a self-control issue when it comes to cakes and sweet things. But whenever they're at a party or something like that, then I'll definitely be eating the cake. I'll be hovering around. Do you like having desserts? Um, I think I like it. I don't think I like it as much as I did when I was younger, actually. Um, I suppose just because I've been able to develop some self-control. I think when you're younger, you find it more difficult to control your urges to eat things. Um, but if I do eat them now, then I have them at the end of a meal. I, I feel like that's the logical course of, well, courses. Are cakes popular in your country? Well, I think if you look at the size of some of the people who live there, um, you could definitely say they're popular. Um, people definitely need to, or some people need to exercise some self-control in that respect. But um, seriously, I don't think they're any popular or any less popular or more popular than anywhere else. Um, I think the same proportion of people like them. What desserts are popular in your country? Um, it's a good question, really. I think uh, nothing that isn't popular elsewhere. Um, so people have um, like just the normal sponge cakes. Um, they'll have ice cream. Uh, I suppose... Um, one thing that might be particularly popular is sticky toffee pudding. That's something that seems to be quite a popular dish at weddings or parties when people um, have large gatherings. Um, but other than that, I'm think, I think that everything else is pretty normal, to be honest. Thank you very much for listening. And remember, enjoy your cake, but make sure you don't lick your fingers and wash your hands afterwards. Exactly. Bye. Bye. Our dear listener, if you'd like to take part in the decision-making process and help us choose topics for our next episodes, join our Telegram and Instagram where you can vote on topics for our next episodes. The links are in the description.